Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov called Monday reports of alleged North Korean troop deployment to Russia, contradictory information. South Koreans say one thing, the Pentagon says it has no confirmation of such statements, there is a lot of contradictory information, Peskov said during a conference call with reporters on Monday. Probably, it must be treated as such, he added. South Korea's spy agency said Friday it had confirmed that North Korea sent 1,500 special operation forces to Russia this month to support Moscow's special military operation in Ukraine. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky earlier said his government had intelligence that 10,000 North Korea soldiers were being prepared to join Russian forces. North Korea, the Democratic People's Republic of Korea is our close neighbor, our partner, and we are developing our relations in all fields. It is our sovereign right, Peskov stressed. Asked about former U.S. President Donald Trump's comments in which he said that he once threatened to strike Moscow in a conversation with Russian President Vladimir Putin, Peskov responded that, we prefer to take a very responsible position of not making top-level conversations public. Regrettably, quite a few global leaders don't share this position and don't respect information hygiene. Let it stay on their conscience, Peskov said. Now, a lot of heated emotional statements could be heard in the United States during the election campaign, particularly in its final stages, he added. Мы по-прежнему предпочитаем заявлять очень ответственную позицию в плане непридания публичности содержания разговоров, которые ведутся на высшем уровне. К нашему сожалению, целый ряд мировых лидеров такой позиции не придерживаются и такую информационную гигиену в данном случае не соблюдают. Но это на их совести. Сейчас звучит очень много разных э, горячих и весьма эмоциональных заявлений в Соединенных Штатах в рамках избирательной кампании, особенно, особенно ее финальной стадии. The use of North Korean troops as part of the Russian armed forces in Ukraine must be defined as a red line, says Mike Turner, head of the House Intelligence Committee of the U.S. On his page on the social network X, he called on U.S. President Joe Biden to hold a briefing of the House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence to discuss the alleged involvement of the North Korean military on the side of Russia in a full-scale war. I sent a letter to President Biden, demanding that his administration provide answers and that the use of North Korean troops against Ukraine become a red line for the United States and NATO. The publication says, Turner also noted that the Biden administration has not briefed officials on any US or Pentagon intelligence assessments of North Korean troops' movements, although he said South Korean and Ukrainian intelligence agencies are already detailing those processes, including the movement of North Korean troops on Russian ships. In a letter to Biden, he clarified that the United States must show an immediate response to North Korea's actions, as must NATO allies, to avoid an escalation of the war. The deepening military ties between Russia and North Korea have earned condemnation from the United States, South Korea and Japan. The three countries announced a new team to monitor arms sanctions on North Korea. The United States has expressed concern over reports of a North Korean military presence in Ukraine but has not independently made the accusation against Pyongyang itself. General Charles Flynn, the U.S. Army's Asia-Pacific commander, told an event in Washington that North Korean personnel being involved in the conflict would allow Pyongyang to get real-time feedbacks on its weapons for the first time. This kind of feedback from a real battlefield to North Korea to be able to make adjustments to their weapons, their ammunition, their capabilities, and even their people, to me, is very concerning," he said, speaking at the Center for a New American Security.
Western intelligence agencies suspect that main directorate of the Russian intelligence sent incendiary packages that caught fire before they were loaded onto planes in Leipzig and Birmingham cities in Germany and UK respectively. The incidents occurred in July. The packages containing incendiary substances somehow passed security inspections. German authorities warned this week that a plane could have been downed if the devices, which were both sent by air, had ignited in flight. German intelligence service chief Thomas Haldenwang told German MPs the package would have resulted in a crash if it had caught fire mid-flight. According to the intelligence services, the purpose of such actions is to intimidate Europeans and create chaos. The incidents with parcels came after MI5 boss Ken McCallum warned that Russia is intent on causing mayhem on UK streets. The security agency's director general said Britain should expect to see continued acts of aggression here at home from Russia, with its military intelligence agency, the GRU, on sustained missions, adding, we've seen arson, sabotage and more. Brandon Fried, executive director of the Air Forwarders Association, which represents the air freight industry in the US, described the incendiary bomb incidents as disconcerting given the suspicion of Russian state involvement. It looks like the goal is simply to disrupt the supply chain, create havoc and simply to scare people. They want people to lose confidence in the system, Fried said, adding that the industry had developed robust and evolving security procedures since September 11th attack.